Okay, so in this question, we are following the steps in order to simplify tan of negative 180 plus theta. So uh, the first question that we are asked is in which quadrant? In which quadrant does this angle lie? So let's draw a cast diagram. I'm sure you can do it in your head by now, but rather, rather always draw it. Okay, just in case. I always draw it, especially with negative angles. I really struggle seeing it in my mind's eye, but maybe you're better than I. Okay, so if we've numbered it, go on in the anti-clockwise direct, or oh, sorry, in the clockwise direction, so that a hundred negative 180 would be negative 180 plus means I'm going in the clock uh, anti-clockwise direction again. So that means I'm in the third quadrant which quadrant in Q3. For angles in this quadrant, the output of the tangent function is, okay, oh, tan is positive in this quadrant. Tan is positive in the quadrant. doesn't matter whether the angle is negative. It falls in the third quadrant where tangent is positive. Okay, what is the angle that this makes with the x-axis? So look what happens, we go all the while to 180 and then plus theta. So we go plus theta, so the angle that we are making is in f not theta, alpha, is in fact alpha. So what is the angle that we are making? We are making an angle of alpha. Now if we had to simplify this, it simply comes down to tan of alpha. Since tan is positive in the quadrant that this specifies, it just simplifies to the angle that it makes with the x-axis, and that is the angle it makes with the x-axis. Easy as pie.